What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. This is something that you guys have highly requested and today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial on bungee cord. So this is how to create a bungee cord server and you guys really wanted me to get this out. So I'm gonna make this tutorial as easy and as understandable as possible. So if you don't know what bungee cord is, basically bungee cord allows you to have multiple servers in one. So you could have a mini game server, you can have a faction server all linked together so that they're all connected and your players can hop from one server to the other. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to create the server folder, which is the easiest step so far. So let's go ahead and call this, you can call it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it Bungie Server. So that's what I'm gonna call it, Bungie Server. And the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna download Bungie Cord. This will be the first link in the downloads description. So download bungiecord.jar. And before we go any further, make sure that you have at least Java 7. Hopefully by now you have Java 8 on your computer. And that will allow you to see the Java icon on the Bungie Cord. And if you don't, probably need to reinstall a fresh version of Java. But, so let's go ahead and put this bungeecore.jar inside of our bungee server folder. So let's just drop that in there. Pretty easy, pretty simple. So now the next thing that we have to do, we have to go into Notepad. So let me do that, Notepad right here, and just like that. So go into Notepad, and then you're gonna wanna go to the description and copy that Java code. Now once you have that Java code, just paste it in here, and then you're going to want to go to save as now go to desktop or wherever you have the bungee server folder and click on that and we're going to save this inside of that folder and we're going to call this start dot bat the dot bat is really important so make sure you have that now save as type make sure you click all files so there we go now we can close out of that and here we go so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to double click on the start so there we go it's creating a lot of files that we're going to need for this to work now we can close out of this and then after that we can just go into our config.yml now here's another thing that you're going to want to need you're going to want to need to get the program called notepad plus plus now if you guys are subscribers of my channel you probably already have this because i say to get it in a lot of our videos because it's just something that's really really helpful and saves you a lot of time and stress. So get Notepad++, it makes everything a lot easier. And after you have Notepad++, just right click on the config.yml and you should see edit with Notepad++. Now click on that, so here we are. All right, so let me explain something else. First of all, what bungee cord is, bungee cord is basically like a cord, it connects two servers together so so in a little bit we're gonna create two server folders for example like mini games and then the other one could be factions and those will be two servers that will be connected by bungee cord so we're just setting up all the connection and all the information that we need to do before we actually create those server folders so in the config if we go down to listeners we can set the message of the day and then we can set global ping so whenever a player presses the tab button to see all the players names and everything if you want them to show the players from every every single server that you have on the list then you set it to global ping but if you want it to only show the players in one server that you're in so like only the faction server then you would set that to server but it just depends on what you want okay now down here at host we're gonna want to keep all the zeros the same and then we're gonna want to change this to something familiar which is 25565 so that is gonna be the port for the bungee cord itself. Now here's one of the most important parts. Here's where we list the servers that we wanna have. So we're gonna obviously need a lobby or a hub server, you know, just a server dedicated for the hub. So this is called lobby. You can change it to whatever name you want. You can set a message of the day for that server. And then you can leave this as this, but you wanna change the port number. So the port number at the end, you can change it to something else. So I'm just gonna go with 25566 and then the next server is going to be 25567. So to create a new server or to create like a new text for the server, just select everything, hit control C to copy it, and then enter a new line. Make sure you okay, this is really important. When you enter a new line, make sure you backspace all the way to the side. And then you can paste it in with control V. Alright, so now we're gonna have to just change this. I'm gonna make this um we're gonna make this factions so that's going to be my second server and then we're going to make a third server which is going to be mini games so of course we have to change the port number i'm going to make it 25567 and then we're going to do the same thing enter a new line backspace and then paste it in again so we can change the name so i'm going to change this to mini games then the next one is going to be 25568 
eight, not nine, eight. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now up here at IP forward, make sure that this is on true. If you're running into a problem, then that's probably what it is. And then online mode also has to be true. Now for bungee cord, this is the only time that online mode will be true because our other servers and the folders for our other servers will be set to online mode as false. Okay, so now what we can do, let's go down here, make sure your fallback server, so if they ever get kicked or anything, they'll fall back to the lobby server, which is very useful, so make sure that that's on lobby. Default server, make sure it's on lobby. And we can pretty much save everything as it is, so click the save button, exit out. Now what we wanna do is we wanna create a new folder. So we're just gonna call this bungee cord. And there we go, now drag everything else inside of the bungee cord folder. So there we go, now we have everything in the bungee cord server, and then everything else in this folder are gonna be server folders itself. So the faction server folder, the minigame server folder, and the lobby server folder all will go here. So let's go ahead and we can go ahead and create either all those server folders right now or just create one. Let's just go with one and let's create the lobby folder first. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to download a spigot.jar file. Now you can go with whatever version you want, but right now the current latest one is 1.8.8 that they have on the website. So make sure you download whatever version you want. Probably best to go with the latest version but it's up to you, so I have the spigot 1.8.8.jar. Now, we can drag this into our lobby server folder. So this folder right here is just as if you're creating a normal server. You know, you have all the files, you need to start it up, and then this is just one server. So we're gonna have, so we're gonna have two other servers, but this is one. So now that you have that in there, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna rename this to spigot. So just like that, spigot. And then what you want to do now is we can go back to the Bungie server folder, go into Bungie cord, and we're going to want to copy the start.bat. So click it and then press Control C to copy. Go back to the lobby folder and then paste that in. And now we can click on edit. And then you're going to want to change Bungie cord to spigot. So now it should read spigot.jar. Now go ahead and save that. Now we can start it up. So double click on it and it's gonna do its work. Okay, so now, of course, we have to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. So we press any key to continue. Now let's go into the EULA and edit and then change this to true. And hit save and now we are good. So let's start it up one more time. So now it's just creating all the folders that you usually would see on a normal server. So here we go, we basically got a normal server running, but then we're gonna connect it to the bungee cord so that all our servers can connect to the bungee cord. All right, so now that's done, don't close out of it normally, just type in stop and hit enter just for safety measures and then it'll close out or we can close it out. And now we can go into server properties, hit edit with notepad plus plus. Now make sure to set online mode to false like I was saying earlier and then make sure to change the port to what you set in the config. So in the config of bungee cord, just to make sure I'm going to go back in here. I set my lobby server to 25566. So I'm going to make that that. 25566. So now we're good with that. We can just save it and then exit out. So now let's go into the spigot.yml. So edit that with Notepad. So now what you want to do is you want to go to bungee cord and set this to true. And there we go. All right. So we're good with that now. Just hit save, close it out. And now let's go into the bucket.yml. So edit that with notepad plus plus. Here we got the connection throttle. So make sure that this is on negative one. Okay. So now we are done with that. Now this, all that we just did, bucket.yml, server properties, all that stuff, we're going to have to do to the other server folders. So let's close out of that. And now we're, we're pretty much done with the lobby folder. You can put whatever plugins you want. You can change whatever you want for the lobby server. Now let's go ahead and create our next one, which would be factions. So there we go. Now what we can do is we can actually, to save us time, well for me, because I'm just doing this for the tutorial, to save myself time, I'm just gonna copy what's in here and then just paste it into the faction server folder. So that way I don't have to start it up, set the EULA, do all that. Now we can just go and change the port number in the server properties to 25567. For me, that's what I said in the config. Save it and then the next thing that we wanna do 
the bucket YML is good. It's pretty much the same. We have all the settings. We have the connection throttle on negative one, and then we have the bungee cord on true. And that's pretty much it. And then the server properties online mode is false. So the only thing that you have to change is the is the server port and the server properties. So now we're going to create our last one, which would be mini games. We're going to go in here, and then we're just going to do the same thing. Just paste it in there, and then change our port number inside the server properties. So here we go. Server port two five five six seven was faction, so two five five six eight is mini games. There we go. So we're pretty much done. You guys can change, put any plugins that you want in a certain server. Do whatever you want. It's all up to you. Okay, so now that we got everything set up, what we want to do is we want to have every single server running. But first, obviously, start up Bungie Cord. And then once that's up, pretty sure it's up, then we can turn on the faction server. So have that there. Then we can turn on the lobby server. And then the last one, minigame server. So that's what you have to do. You have, you have to have every single server folder and every server running. And of course, start up the Bungie Cord one first. So there we go. Once everything is set, we can direct connect or add our server and type in local host. Local host will automatically connect us and we can just hit join. So we're logging in and it's going to bring us into our lobby server. So let me maximize this real quick. So yeah, we're pretty much in our lobby server right now. If we were to type slash server, then it says we are currently connected to lobby. So perfect, everything is working according to plan right here. So we may connect to the following servers at this time. So we can actually just click on the factions or the mini games. We're already in the lobby and which is pretty cool. It shows how many players are currently connected to that server. So this is one of the commands that your players can use. So I'm gonna connect to the factions just by clicking on it. So that is pretty cool. And obviously the world looks the same because we copied and pasted. Well, that's what I did, of course, I. Wouldn't recommend that you guys do that. I'm pretty sure you guys have your own custom worlds. And if you want to check out how to import a world that you may have downloaded or you may have brought from another server, be sure to check my Multiverse Core tutorial out. That's going to help you out a lot. And yeah, but that's besides the point. So now let's just connect to the minigames one just to show you that the minigames one is also working. Bam, there we go. So pretty cool. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to port forward. Now, Hopefully a lot of you guys already know how to do this because it's been years that players have needed to port forward for other people to join their server. But if you don't know how, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll have a tutorial on how to port forward for your Minecraft server. But if not, there are thousands, I'm pretty sure there are thousands of tutorials on how to port forward, maybe even for your specific router itself. So maybe if you were to type in your router name and then search you know how to port forward tutorial then it'll even pop up with how to do it on your specific router so it's it's pretty easy but I don't want to go too in depth and make this video even longer than it needs to be there are a lot of tutorials and yeah so after you have port forwarded you're going to want to go to ipchicken.com and that is where you're gonna find your IP address that you give your friends and once you give your friends that you can tell them to add a server call it maybe friends bungee server I'm just gonna call mine bungee server and then they can paste in that IP address that you gave them from ipchicken.com so that will direct them to the lobby server so let's join our bungee server and yep so we're in if we type slash server bam we're connected to lobby so that is awesome everything worked out perfectly hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more plugin tutorials. I have plugin tutorials that I do almost every day, and you guys can check out plugins that will help your server out. Be sure to check out any videos that I included to help you out furthermore with this. And that's pretty much it. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.